There you can see the tail of the tape between these two fighters. Huan in the red corner from Thailand, 31 years of age. His name actually translates to gun. Let's see if he's got the ammo to take out the young gun. 167 centimeters tall, weighed in yesterday at 107.6 centimeters. He has a reach of 160 centimeters and was born in Nakhon Nayok, Thailand. And he has a professional record of 39 victories, nine losses with three draws. And in the blue corner, Yanis Venom Muay Thai from Algeria, just 16 years of age. Stands at 170 centimeters, meaning he has a three centimeter height advantage over his opponent. And weighed in yesterday at 107.4 pounds. He has a reach of 170 centimeters, 10 centimeter reach advantage over his opponent. Born in Algeria, also representing France, I believe, as well, and has a professional record of 21 fights, sorry, 21 victories with three losses. Yeah, and it's good to mention representing France as well, and is part of a great gym, the Nasser K team, where Fabio Pinka used to train. Ah. Interesting, Fabio Pinker, of course, if you're unaware, one of the, is regarded as one of the best non-Thai uh, Muay Thai fighters of all time. And is actually has a win over Senchai. So, Yanis in good company right there. Very tall as well. Interesting how many fighters are coming out. We do say it week, week on week, but out of Venom Muay Thai. It's like a factory, a conveyor belt of some amazing talent in the sport. We saw last week, um, Yunis, I believe his name is, not Yanis, the brother of Nabil, make a big statement here on RWS. Let's see what Yanis has got this time. All right, and there you can see the fighter performing the Y crew done before every traditional Muay Thai bout. It's in honor of the fighters, masters, trainers, and of course the gym or camp. They fight out of and represent a massive deal in Muay Thai. The, the gym that you fight out of. It's like a, it's almost like horse racing. It's like you have a stable of fighters. You have to provide them with food, with accommodation, and in return, they have to win fights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what it is. But but like fight. Antoine said in the introduction, a massive night of fights coming up. We've got four semi-finals, two in the 118 pound Bantam weight division for the females and at 135 pounds we've got four of the very very best fighters at that weight division attempting to make it in to the final of course two of last year's champions you'll see here tonight also trying to make it through to that final we've got Lamnam Moonlek the golden boy he was a he actually came in last year as a replacement fighter and ended yeah, up winning absolutely. the whole thing and then we've got Sam Ratsumi the very slick fighter he won it last year at 112 pounds. He decided that this tournament is for her. Went up in weight and so far so good for Sam Ratsumi. Yeah, and this is great to see that the champions are still here because if you've been following RWS, you know how tough, tough the tournament is. You know how difficult it is to actually make it through the group stages and get to the final four. And yet, the two champions of last year are still here in the final four. So it just says, how good they are. That, that's true. We've also got Daniel Rodriguez, who we again showed you now training with Superbon. Last year's champion through to the final four. Unfortunately, for Shadow, last year he was the 147 pound champion. He decided to go up in weight. Didn't quite make it through this year. Put on some awesome displays though, to be fair, but just uh, didn't get enough. Well, in the eyes of the judges anyway, to make it through. Get enough points. Nonetheless, some amazing action still to come here on RWS, and especially with tonight. All right, big fight for our opening bout in the prelims. Let's get these fights underway. Mr. Beer, take it away. Sonica, greeting, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Beer, the boys of Russian and welcome to RWS Russian of the World Series Tournament 2023 Final Four of the Bentham Division and Lightweight Division. 
We are live at the World First Muay Thai Stadium, Russian Amnon Stadium, the bad place of Muay Thai. Watching live to over 200 countries around the world on the zone. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to start the first preliminary fight of the evening. Are you ready? Introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Prichar Sawikan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting about the red corner, 31 years of age, he stands with an and 67 cent missile and fighting with an and 7.6 power. He a record of 39 wins, 9 losses and 3 draw, representing the Kornayo province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Boon! The Kiyotara Bhutong, Takir Nup Hojai! And his opponent, fighting on the blue corner. 16 years of age, his turns when it and 70 is in this hall, and when it when it and 7.4 pounds, he or record all 21 wins and three losses representing Algeria. Let's hear it for Yadis winner. Alright, here we go, first bout of this evening's RWS Final Four event. And it's Thailand taking on Algeria. A clash of generations, 16 years old versus an experienced fighter of 30 years old. Let's see how it goes. To see the size of this thing, can't you? How, just how tall this 16 year old is. Beautiful left kick from Boone. Oh, Ooh. I like that left body jab. Oh, digging it into the body. Left hook there from Yanis. Left hook, right low kick there from the young Algerian. I like what he's doing. I like his confidence. Straight away trying to establish the game plan that he's probably been working on at the gym. Beautiful left kick there, being aggressive. And that's probably what you want to be doing against a fighter that's in his 30s. That's a good point. That's it. Let's actually get there from Bun. Left jab from Yanis. Attempting to go down low. Inside kick there from Bun, but with no real venom. And somehow the distance might be an issue for the Thai fighter as Yanis. Oh, as I say that, it's a powerful mill kick. Yan is confident though. Back to the center of the ring they go. Yan is searching for a body shot there, but wide of the mark. Oh, another Oof. good body shot there from Bud, but he might have just walked into a right hand. Both fighters really confident. Oh, oh beautiful left, left hook. hook. Yeah. Oh, oh, right up a good left hand there by the gun. Sorry, to the gun by Yanis. Right hand, another right, and a left. Yanis looking good here in this opening round. Pushing back the Thai fighter. Oh, good high kick there from Bun. He's got to be careful as Yanis. Great game plan from the younger fighter. You don't want to play the timing game. You want to be more aggressive, more active. You want to take the fight to Bun. And this is exactly what, what he's doing. Fighter with more experience though. Trying to look for openings, opportunities and counter-attack. Beautiful kick there. Really good defense in the clinch. See that Yanis is looking for those hands and Burn is looking for those kicks. And you can see already the middle section of Yanis hitting that many middle kicks is not going to do him good as you can feel him slowing down a little bit. Really loves that left hook. Burn pushing forward. Oh, that's not a bad idea using a step in knee when you've got that height advantage like Yanis does. Closing stages now of round number one. Barely back and forth. It's been. Low kick there by the Algerian. Bun moving forward. He's 
comfortable fighting on the back foot, so you don't want to let him stay at that range. You want to be able to put your combinations and speed together. That's right. And as you know, Thai or Thai judges, so to say, they really appreciate those kicks to the body. It's stable. So if they see a fighter combining those kicks with the aggression that we saw from Bun, it's more likely or not to get that round. So it's up to Yanis now to do something. I did like that knee at the end of the uh, first round. I hope he brings that back out to play. Now, the Thai fighter pushing forward. I like it, though. Yeah. So how many times we talk about whoever wins that first round, they look up at the scoreboard, realizing the winning, but for every reason, slows them down in that second round and they become defensive. So it's, it's nice to see. Yeah, absolutely. And, and especially finding such a young fighter with not that oh, much experience. Oh. Sometimes they have issues fighting on the back foot. So mm. the Thai fighter should be pushing forward. And this is exactly what he's Good doing point. right now. Good point, Antoine. Oh, tempted right high kick. That almost connects for oh, Bun. Backing up, Yanis. Yanis does not want to be there. He's got to be the one Ooh. pushing forward. Nice left hook there from Yanis. We saw a couple of them thrown and connected in the opening round. In the clinch, wow. Good defense from both fighters. Yeah, Left again, hand, he, yeah. he needs to be active. He needs to let his hands go. Oh, oh another right hand there from Yanis. Burn holding on, though. So Yanis looking for that uppercut as they uh, get into that clinch. Oh. Good hands again here, coming in from Yanis. Oh, oh, dangerous, though. Every time he comes in, he has to go through that right kick. And ladies and gentlemen, this is going to score. This is a power shot, and this is what scores. Absolutely, you can see, like you said, the markings. Right hand to the body there. That's a better body kick that time from Yanis. Why not when you've got legs like this? Use them to your advantage and throw them more. Going up with that left eye kick. Oh, and again. again. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've seen Yanis block exactly. the kick even exactly. once, which is going to add up a lot of damage. And ooh. Just like that right left hook, he really does. And a right kick to the body there from Bun and then holds on to Yanni, so he can't attack him. Smart move there by the 31 year old Thai. Left hand to the body. Again, body shots coming in here by Yanis, pushing forward. Yeah, this is good. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to do. I like how he starts to aim for the body and perhaps take the wind out of the older fighter. And here, it seems like it's working somehow. Oh, oh good, good right, hand. right hand. Might have been the shot of the round. But again, you can't discount the body shots just like that, again and again and again. But Yanis is just not blocking. And what Bun is scoring with primarily. You've got to give credit to this kid, though, the hard that he does. Absolutely. He does. As well. Another great round here in, in that second round. Beautiful right kicks to the body there from the Thai fighter. You can see how he's blocking a lot of the punches that Yanis is throwing. But not all of them. Some of them are getting through. There's actually a welt on the, the right eye of the Thai fighter. Beautiful left hand there. Equally good right to counter. Back and forth we go here at RWS. Another right hand there from Yanis sneaking through the guard. Stay with us. Nothing to lose for the young Algerian fighter now. And it's going to be interesting to see how does the Thai fighter chooses to fight now. Is he going to go backwards like you said? Like a lot of fighters, mm. when they're up ahead on the scoreboard, they like to fight on the back foot and be more, more defensive, which might be a good thing for Yanis. As he needs to push forward, beautiful right hand there. We also saw an attempted elbow there by Yanis. More techniques as well as more aggression. Highly advisable right now in this third and final round. You want to try and oh! surprise Burn, but no, he's going back to the hands. Working so far. Here comes Yanis again. Pushing forward. Oh, and Burn look, looks like he's hurt momentarily, he but really now does. in the clinch, making the difference again. Those punches are definitely taking effect. You can see the, the swollen face there of Burn. Oh, nice uppercut oh, there. And again, again. Great round so far from Yanis. 
all hands though at this point. I know this is a big learning curve, fighting inside Rajadam Nun Stadium at just 16 years of age on one of the biggest promotions in the world like RWS. But my advice to him would be, yes, you've got your hands down. Practice some knees, especially with the, the height that he possesses and the leg length. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Hands follow through with a knee would be a great option exactly right now. As now, Thai fighter trying to survive the end of the round. Stuck Again, in a corner. Yeah, Can more hands it? by Yanis. He just loves to box. Left hand again, coming in. Oh. Uh, holding on, under 90 seconds to go. You can see as Yanis takes a big look at the, at the clock. He needs that knockdown. He has put it on Yanis. Oh. Sorry, he has put it on this Thai fighter in this uh, third and final round. He's just got to keep doing it. He's got to be non-stop. He's going to walk through oh. whatever Burn is oh. throwing at him. Oh, 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 oh. He's going after him. Oh, oh goodness me. Yeah. Cracking rib shot by Burn. The aggression, the aggression of Gannis, though. He just does not stop, even though he's taken a lot of damage from the middle section. And yet, he's still here. And yet, he's still training. 40 seconds remaining on the clock. Can he do it? Can he turn the oh, fight around? Right Beautiful right hand again. again. Knocking the head back off the tie. 35 seconds to do something special here, kid. Back in the corner they go. You know he's looking for that right hand. Right body shot that time. Oh, oh. another right hand, a spinning back fist connected by Yanis. I'd like to think that he's taken the round at least here. Yeah, absolutely. Still needs something more to win. The oh. fight! Is that it? Is that going to be down? Are we counting that? No, oh, no. He's, oh, he's off balance. Well, that would have been fun. <laughs> right hand there coming in. Oh, and there you have it. End of the third and final round. Burn hangs on to take the wow. victory. What a fight. What a performance from Yanis at such a young age. Even though tonight he won't be taking a win. But still, you can see the trainer smiling, laughing, probably happy he survived that. Burn will be taking home the victory, but I think he'll be taking home a lot of pain as well. But Yanis performed very well, but a lot of things to work on. Let's have a look at the highlights from that opening round. So it's Yanis with those right hands. I think that was in the second round. Pushing back. Doing what he had to in the third. That could have been a knockdown, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. Liberal knockdown, but knockdown nonetheless. Let's have a look in slow motion. Beautiful left hands. And right is coming in for the young Algerian. He's got his, his hands are great. Just got to work on the other facets. This is the art of eight limbs, not the art of two. Absolutely, but definitely a fighter to look forward. Thank great. And gentlemen, after three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. The first judge scored is about 29 to 28. The second judge scored 29 to 28, and the last judge scored 30 to 27. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision!